back to another day. We are here at a beach that Cousin Clyde, we're here with Cousin Clyde. He's in the bathroom right now. He's been coming to beaches in Orange County for 20 years, he said. And five years ago, he realized this is the best beach. And he said because it has showers, it has bathrooms, it has good parking, and it's beautiful. So we're gonna hang out with him. Catch you later. Net peoples, welcome back. We are at a local park in Balboa right now. Having a pretty good time. Our legs are a little tired. We're not jumping as high as we jumped yesterday. We should probably go to the gym. We need to go get a haircut. We also need to go to the laundry service. Anyway, we got some stuff to do. We got to see Cousin Clyde. That was a great morning experience getting to connect with him and talk with him again is promising i'm trying to re-establish myself with all my old friends in the local area and yeah we're just still learning we're building still follow along it's pretty epic so what's goody with you internet we are at the barber shop hopefully they do tap to pay if not we have to skate all the way back to our car it's like a mile away wish us luck Yo, the barbershop was closed, but we we're gonna do laundry instead. So we're gonna do this real fast. All right, internet, our laundry is complete. We are just going to load all of this up. While I do this, I just wanna remind you guys why these vlogs are worth watching all the way till the end. And it's because these vlogs are set up to help people with their own process of individuation. You should watch more of the still learning vlog that's called Building Still. We're building, still learning. It's like official name is the St. Thomas Institute of Learning. The reason we call it that is because St. Thomas Aquinas, he was one of the original Christian authority figures, like in the church anyway, who made a real effort. He made an effort to start to integrate the ideas and the belief systems that were popping up during the Enlightenment. You probably know them as science or rationality. And uh, old St. Thomas, he's, he's not alive anymore, but we're continuing on that same mission. We're trying to blend and understand how different belief systems, like science and religions, how they fit together how to make sense out of the seemingly contradictory aspects of them. And there's this idea in English language, there's esoteric and exoteric. And exoteric means the exterior, so what outsiders think. So groups have an exoteric level and an esoteric level. And the esoteric is like the insiders, the ones in the know. And what's really crazy is the great wisdom traditions of the world, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism. Well, Buddhism is not really a religion. We'll call it a religion because like Zen is, yeah, it's kind of. Anyway, little rant aside, our laundry is clean. On to the next part of today. Hey yo, internet peoples. Welcome back to the vlog. We did get a haircut. Shout out Chad. Boy, did a good job. We are on a rescue mission for our stuff. We, uh, you know, decided to give ourselves a little treasure hunt. Oh, I see our treasure. Do you see it? You probably can't see it yet. Ah. Oh, check this out, little ramp. Treasure! There it is, right here. Found you, thank you. Right, it's 1 a.m., we missed the cutoff by an hour. It's not bad, though. We got shorts uploaded tonight, so uh, we stopped running a promotion. So we stopped running ads through YouTube and our subscriber growth has just stagnated. So hopefully by putting out a bunch of shorts again, we can keep the growth continuing. Anyway, that's it for today. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Turn on the post noties and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. God focus, feeling my eyes be the truth. God focus, feeling my eyes be the truth.